Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and it's that time of the month where we get our art snacks box. This is the March box and I didn't check if there was any spoilers for this so I don't remember. But I think this is their birthday month so let's check out if they have anything, anything different for this box. So. Let's get started. So let's open this up. And right away we see a pencil char uh, sharpener. It looks like really high quality. It looks like it has two, the two sizes. Hmm. All right. And oh yay, Smarties! So they have Smarties in the menu. Alright, of the box. So let me bring my sketchbook to start um swatching everything out. This is the current sketchbook that I'm working on. Nothing exciting. There's it's not like a, a brand or anything. I uh I bought it at a half price book years ago and I decided to finally use it. I mean it has it's okay paper. Alright, so let's start swatching. So I guess let's start by reading the actual menu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading the, the little joke that they put every month. What do you call an artist with plenty of storage? A drawer. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Um. So yeah, let's start. So apparently they have a Plumchester paint marker, which I think Plum Plumchester is their brand. And it's usually pretty high quality. So I'm excited to check that out. Let's start this. Every month I get so scared because I don't see the sticker like in the box just just like that because some one month they forgot my sticker and I was pretty sad. And um, so yeah, every time I'm like, I freak out a little, but here it is. So here are the supplies, and I'm, yeah, this is the pen marker. And this month, nothing exploded. Uh, if y'all saw my last, <laughs> my last month's um, unboxing, the ink exploded all over the box. Insert a clip right now. Okay, this is what it looks like. Oh no! Oh no! And insert something right here so it can take you to the whole video if you want to watch it. But yeah, let's start with the Plumchester paint marker. So here it is in the color blue. Oh, it's reversible. Huh. You see the surprise? It's, it's not the Art Snacks exclusive. And it says, you're getting a brand new color of the Plumchester paint marker in your box this month. Now available in a variety of blue and green shades, this marker is filled with water-based acrylic paint that's fast drying, opaque, and permanent. By reversing the tip, you'll find two different nibs. A 3mm bullet on one end and a 5mm chisel on the other. To use, shake well, remove cap, and press down on the nib on your surface several times until saturated. 
Okay, yeah, it's like any, like if you get Posca or, no, not Posca. Oh yeah, yeah, Posca, you can do it. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Where's the other, where's the chisel nib, here? How do you? Yo, I need to watch the breakdown, cause. You know what? Whatever. I don't want to break it. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's start. It's right here. Mm, here it is. So yeah, they gave us. I mean, I'm glad that they give us another color. That's pretty cool. So let's let's watch it out. Colors working. A few minutes later. Okay, it's taking a minute. Oh, there it goes. Oh, well, still a little left. There you go, it's all blue now. So here's what it looks like. It says it's a, yeah. And I really like these markers because you can really make some cool effects in your art. I haven't used it in an actual acrylic painting, but I think it will be fun to to see how it how it works out. Let's zoom in a little bit more so y'all can see. Right, the next item. Here it is. Oh, I forgot it was a man. The Chameleon Color Tones Color Pencil. You flip. Oh, it's new to Art Snacks and. Okay. You flip over the Chameleon Color Tones Color Pencil. This highly pigmented, ultra smooth pencil features a different color on each end. The two hues are expertly paired together so you can achieve the perfect color blend. Oh, fuck. The perfect color harmony. Just flip to blend. So this is what I got, also blue. There it is. Electric blue and a sewer. There you go. So I think this, this painting is gonna be very monochromatic, I guess. Because Blue, blue, and blue. Right now, I don't have any ideas for this, so later on, something has to inspire me. Or Then you can see how it blends. I'm really, I really like how it looks. Okay. 
My beautiful handwriting as always. <laughs> um, let's see what's uh, next. Oh, it's the the pencil sharp uh, sharpener. Three different sharpeners. Oh wait, I'm not something. Um, one convenient. Okay, pencils, thick crayons, and even thin pencil leads. Eight, eleven, and three point two. Okay, modern and minimalistic. This tool is made from durable, eco-friendly bioplastic. Part of Kumblu's Ocean series. Okay, um, so here's what it looks like. And it says right there, Blue Ocean, the planet, bioplastic. Oh, so this one is the little. So I was wondering what that was. Uh, this part right here. Okay. Okay, there it is. Oh, okay, I have to get rid of this. Whatever, you get it. Here it is. And here is the... Kuretake Sig Eyeliner Brush Pen. It's an also a new product inspired by portable cosmetics, the Kuretake Sig Eyeliner Brush Pen. has an ultra fine brush tip that is also used in an actual uh, in actual eyeliner pens this cute compact tool features waterproof pigment based ink that will not bleed when used with alcohol or water based markers please note this is not an eyeliner pen and should not be used and should be used on paper not skin there you go girls oh oh the packaging is super cute it actually looks like an eyeliner I adore th oh my god. Let's be beauty bloggers for a second here. <laughs> this is amazing. I can make really thin lines with it. Or really thick ones. Oh I can do like a cat eye. This is amazing. So now I want to draw a girl with this because I just love these types of. Just having fun now. These types of liners because you can make a lot of variation with the lines. I, I am in love with that product. Damn, nine dollars retail. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I'll probably get it if I run out of it because that's amazing. I love it. And the last one is their birthday present to us: art snacks and black wing pencil. Oh, I've been okay. I've been wanting to try the black wings pencils for a minute now, but I've never bought it because I have a bunch of pencils, and I was like, nah, it doesn't. I don't think I'm gonna get it. But now that we get this. It's pretty nice, I can try it out. Our snacks turns eight years old this month. It's been a super exciting year and we're celebrating with a birthday gift to you. A customs art snacks black wing pencil. Thanks to all our, our loyal customers for eight wonderful years. We couldn't do it without you. Oh. This is what it looks like. It says black wing right there. It's the eraser. I'm so glad. They included this because, like I said, I've been wanting to try it, and that's the perfect chance. So let me let me use this and oh. Such a nice, look at that. So we got to see the sharpener in action. This is pretty nice. I love this. Oh, it also has the, here's the art snacks. 
um, name and the little logo. It's cute. I also love this. Pencil's nice. So we're gonna sketch out with this. With this pencil and... So yeah, this, this drawing's gonna be pretty... It's gonna be monochromatic. We only have these three shades of color. And they're all blue. I'm going to figure out what I wanna do. Sorry, I got a phone call, so I have to move this setup again. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, These are all the supplies. They gave us five different things. Only one shade, so it's going to be a challenge. But yeah, this is everything. All together. The sticker that I didn't show you close up. What it looks like it looks like little sprinkles the candy and the menu so I'm gonna try some stuff out see what I want and yeah that one's gonna be a voiceover because I'm probably gonna speed stuff up because I do take a minute drawing and everything so talk to you in a minute so here I start out sketching what I want to um, want to do as my final illustration and this month I did do the same one as the as the sketch like the illustration is gonna be the same one as the sketch that I'm doing right now because um, yeah last, last month I was like I had like a last minute decision and I changed everything but here I really liked um, like the idea of it and everything and like I said, I wanted to draw a girl because of the little eyeliner thing that I got. Um, so that's what I decided to do. And this is how she started to look like. Um, so yeah, yeah. This is me just sketching away. So this is uh, me actually starting the illustration and for the paper I used a, um, a tone paper 
and I thought that color was gonna look nice like the gray one and I tested out what was what was it gonna look like and you'll see in a minute on that actual paper so I know more or less what the colors how they were gonna show on this paper and um, I chose this because of the graphite pencil because I was gonna do some shadows there and I thought it would look too contrasty if I used just a white plain piece of paper so that's why I use this and I always like to keep tone paper around for this very reason um, I have this one which is the gray and the brown one as well so if I feel like any illustration needs that little little boost because I do think that sometimes it gives it a nice touch so I just keep that um, I have regular tone paper and I have the mixed media one and I use the regular one here which I should have used the mixed media but I still like how like there was a, not a lot of warping anyways but um I think that I should basically get the mixed media since I'm a mixed media artist but um yeah this is just me on the sketching process and I hope you enjoy the rest.
So now that the sketch is done, I start doing the coloring process because I wanted to add the actual liner at the end. So I started out with the with the colored pencil, like the chameleon one, and I used the blending a little bit more with the bird, not with her. But um, yeah, there you go. Uh, you see me coloring the bird and this uh like i said when i was watching it this is gonna be very monochromatic the only other color that's gonna show up here is the shadow that's gray but um i really like this um uh, this color pencil i without even thinking i just was switching back and forth between the light blue and the darker blue and it wasn't like an inconvenience or anything like that i actually thought it was pretty helpful that you literally just have to flip the pencil and the other color that you can blend is right there so um yeah i think this is a really strong box like i like pretty much everything here so yeah this is where i use the blending the most when i was drawing this I mean coloring this and I kind of use the same technique on the flowers and you'll see that in a second Okay, so here I start with the... Uh, and the way I did it is... Uh, I remember last time that I did the... I used the Plumchester marker that you can dilute it with water. So that's what I did. Um, at first, I was like doing it on the side. Like I put a little bit in a palette and was doing it like that. But then I just decided to um, put it directly on the paper and then just put the water right on top of it. And this you have to do really quick because the Plumchester markers will dry pretty quick and then you won't be able to activate it with water, I think. So I did this fairly quickly. As I laid down the color, I immediately started putting the water on it. And I really like that effect because it's not like this harsh blue or anything like that. Like you can you can work with it more. Um now if you want like a part to be darker you can just apply the plumchester marker again but yeah i i only use the like as is on my background and you see that in a minute but um yeah that's pretty much the technique that i, I was using for her hair So 
So here comes my favorite part, working on the actual line art. And here I'm just doing like final touches and now I'd start with that. And I like the aesthetic, like you know how it like aesthetically pleasing because I like the shape of it, but I actually love this liners, I mean this brush so so much. Um, you can do a lot of variation of lines. Um, it really, like I truly really enjoyed working with it. So whenever I run out of ink, I'm gonna buy another one because this is like, not even a joke, top 10 of, uh, top five even of uh, brushes I've used. And, um, and yeah, like I, I really like working on it. And there, like I do finishing touches with the, with the marker and then I go and put some line art and that's how I was working this entire time. But, um, yeah. So I had to um, cut it here and didn't show my favorite part, which was inking the eyes and the mouth. But my head was like on the shot the entire time because when I draw, I usually get really close to the drawing. <laughs> so that's what I did and you can see nothing but my head. So I decided to just cut it and show you the rest of the inking process. But yeah, inking that was definitely my favorite part So here's the final touch of the illustration and it's the the shadows and like I said um, I was gonna use the graphite for it oh and here I'm also painting the lips but yeah like that to give it like a little bit more because I was gonna do in blue as well but I was like ah, that's already too much blue so I just decided to do it with the with the gray of the graphite and I mean, I like how it turned out, um, but yeah, this is just pretty much the final touches of the of the illustration. And then I just start um, with the actual background. Oh no, never mind. I'm doing a little bird.
So after the finishing touches, I decided to go straight with the marker on the background just to give it like a little nice touch at the end and uh, I think that also pops a little bit more because uh, it's just the pure pigment like it's not watered down so yeah there I go um, coloring uh, the the top of the illustration and the side um, and overall I really like this box this is probably one of my favorite ones um, up to date and I'll give out a little zoom in of how it it ended up and then you'll see a an illustration like the final illustration and I chose the, that washi tape so yeah I hope you enjoy this um, if you got this box tell me what you thought of it tell me what colors you got and I'll see you in my next video which will be a, a journal bye bye